that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thereafter ends these verses. He ends these verses. What does he say? أُولَٰئِكَ يُجْزَوْنَ الْغُرْفَةَ بِمَا صَبَرُوا Straight. Allah says, those who have these qualities will be granted a special place in paradise. Al-Ghurfa. Known as Al-Ghurfa. It is a special room, a special abode, a special palace. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا حَسُنَتْ مُسْتَقَرًّا وَمُقَامًا They will dwell therein forever. What a beautiful place to be living in forever. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness in the dunya and the akhirah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our doors. I hope I've said words that have motivated myself to begin with and then all of us. And at the same time, I hope and pray that all of us have made resolutions here and now to improve ourselves for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, become steadfast. Leave your bad ways. Kick out those habits. Wallahi, it won't pay. When you are on your deathbed, you will smile thinking, Ya Allah, I left these bad habits for you. We don't want to be those whom, when we are on our deathbeds, all our sins come and start haunting us. Allah protect us. I have witnessed people in Sakarat, and I have sat next to people who've passed away in front of my eyes. And I've seen different types of people. There was a man who shook me, really, by telling me, you know, all my sins, it's as though they're right in front of me. And he's telling me, and he's about to die. A few minutes later, he was gone. And that shook me. And I said, I will share it with the Ummah, inshallah. Because Allah says, يَوْمَ تَجِدُ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ مُحْضَرًا وَمَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ سُوءٍ تَوَدُّ لَوْ أَنَّ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَهُ أَمَدًا بَعِيدًا وَيُحَذِّرُكُمُ اللَّهُ نَفْسَهُ Allahu Akbar. Allah says, a day will come when a person will see all his good deeds right in front of him and all his bad deeds as well, he'll see them right in front of him hoping that there was a huge distance between him and them. And Allah says, Allah warns you regarding Allah. Allah warns you regarding the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those who have engaged in tawbah and repentance and istighfar and changed their lives when these golden opportunities have come, those are the ones who succeeded. But as for the rest who don't want to change, may Allah not do that to us. They have only themselves to blame. And I'd like to end by bringing to your attention the fact that we are so fortunate. We have food, we have drink. We do not have bombs raining on our heads as the people in Gaza. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them peace. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard them and grant them victory. May Allah grant them peace and stability, security. When they are reading Salatul Taraweeh, one wonders in what condition their hearts are. Wallahi, we are taught to read Salah as though it is the last Salah we are ever going to fulfill. There are certain people who have no option but to think in that way because they are hearing the big booms and the bangs right around them. Imagine if that had happened to us, the level of Iman would go up. Are we going to wait for a day when that happens for our Iman to be boosted? Or will we let it happen to us now that our Iman is boosted? So there are people who are suffering there. Their food is restricted, their clothing restricted, their movements restricted, everything restricted over and above that, being bombed, pillaged, atrocities committed against them. They do not know when they leave the home whether they're going to come back or not. And even whilst they're in the home, they don't know if they're going to spend the next few moments alive. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use us to assist them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to help, whether it is financially, whether it is by our own selves, whether it is through dua, whatever it is, we need to make dua for all those. I'm only giving you an example. We as Muslims believe in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we are like one body. Just like in one body, if a small organ is in pain, the whole body is restless. We as the Ummah feel this restlessness regarding Gaza, regarding Afghanistan, regarding Iraq, regarding Somal, regarding all these countries, whether it is Libya or Syria, whatever country it is, we feel the restlessness. We feel the agitation and we all feel we'd like to do something about it. Ya Allah, open their doors. It is something historic and really assistance rendered from us, inshallah, to our brethren, solely humanitarian. The idea is not to engage in anything besides what Allah has asked from us.
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. 